hybrid guiding lines so we have three different variances that we use hybrid guiding lines for one is for uh, rescuer base so that would be if the rescuer is climbing up himself brings both up lines both lines up dead ends them up top and he puts himself on the on the line repels down and uses this as a hybrid guiding line to bring him away from the structure with the victim uh, the other one is a tower control type style hybrid guiding line that would be um, a, the rescuer goes up anchors off up top clips into the victim and lowers from up top and clips the victim into the hybrid guiding line as he, again, to bring him away from the structure. And this one, what we're showing right now is actually, it's gonna be a ground control based hybrid guiding line, okay? So we're gonna start off on our ground anchor again. We have our truck, lockdown down, tag on, and two straps. Inner anchor plate and then going into two clutches. The blue line is gonna be our um, ground control. It's just a lowering and a hauling line. It's going up to the tower, going up through a change of direction pulley and then straight down into our victim. Very simple, just ground control, one line. And then our hybrid guiding line is gonna be this green line. That's into a clutch down at the ground. It's going up and going up and anchoring off up into the top of the structure. You can see here on our victim connections, what makes this a hybrid is adding the ASAP onto the guiding line as he's coming down. So it's dual function, right? It's the guiding line is taking him away from the structure, but it's also acting as his, as his ASAP, as his belay line, okay? So one of the things we need to do for this, to make it a guiding line, is we, we try to keep it just off the structure. It's, it's made not to be made for very low tension. So all we try to do is keep it off the structure. We try to maintain about two meters or so or less is what we're trying to do with the structure. To keep him away, keep him off as he comes down and slide down nice and easy. So in order to facilitate that, what has to happen is the guy that's on the guiding line um, down at the ground anchor needs to be releasing out as the lowering guy is releasing as well. If the guide, if the guide line is not releasing, what's going to happen is this is a, this angle is going to keep getting bigger and bigger, and it's going to turn into a tracking line. And then at that point, we'd want to end up uh, doing being redundant and having two tracking lines. So that we're trying to minimize again the swing fall potential. So two meters or less away from the structure is ideal. Oh, 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 oh